Dig a little deeper. everyone we are here at the Swan Hotel now today we are dining at Il Milano here in the Swan it's a restaurant that we have never been to before David and I are here together and we asked mom in advance she said mom have we ever been to this restaurant before she said no first time dining experience ever here at Walt Disney World Swan Il Milano let's get in there I should note today we've got brand new masks take a look there's little koalas and yeah, they're holding trees but it looks like they're holding a churro I, I, I like that they're called the churro koala from David's Teespring David made these right there you can find the link in the description good job dude it's gonna be just a few moments and they're gonna get us seated but I should note that I parked in Hollywood Studios this is an honest mistake I thought that when you park at the Swan you have to pay for parking and you do it's not included with an annual pass or anything like that but if you eat at Il Milano found out they will validate your parking that's, that's you live and learn live and learn it was a great walk a little hot as you can see sweat but you live and learn we've got a great table inside of Il Milano here in the Swan Hotel I am so excited about this our hostess is telling me all about the calamari I was looking at the calamari before we even got here with the menu in advance and she was like you get a lot of it as the appetizer I'm like I, I could totally go for some amazing calamari she also talked about the chicken parmesan which I will talk to my server about but since Dave and I are here together maybe we'll split some things up and, and try them together I'm, I'm really hopes and and uh, hopes and dreams for this restaurant are going up and up and up and up and up we started off with a little bit of bread here and I've got to tell you some of the best bread I've had to start a service it's like this spicy Italian bread super super good I'm very impressed by that one spoke to our server calamari absolutely happening but since we're both here we figured we split a few things up so I think we're gonna do the calamari and arancini to start with Let's see how we feel after we're gonna kind of take this one bit by bit because we want to see how it tastes learned it was called focaccia bread and Dave and I both love it and the server he told us he's like oh my gosh you guys clearly love that bread you already ate it he brought us a whole basket full of focaccia bread super super nice service already the appetizers have arrived we've got the calamari here that is a tremendous amount of calamari it smells good it looks amazing could it be another top contender for calamari we're gonna find out in a moment we've also got the arancini looks really really good we had something similar on the Disney cruise cruise line but we'll see how this one compares she sprinkled some cheese on top as well I think we're gonna start with the calamari I, I'm, I'm so excited first bite of the calamari here at Il Milano together bon appetit a couple more bites here it is a very very good calamari that being said it is not the best calamari on property that is still held by the champion spice road table Morocco Epcot I do like this though I can see myself getting it again the biggest difference between this calamari and the calamari at spice road table are the seasonings that they're using the seasonings here very good and complement the marinara sauce super well the seasonings and spice for a table are much more intense you get more of the seafood and spice in there as well between the two spice for a table wins every time this is not bad though not bad want to keep trying things on the menu though now it's time for the arancini bon appetit the arancini overall not bad not bad at all it's kind of a unique taste with the rice and uh, also the meat in there it does have a good spice to it i like this one a lot between the two, I actually might get the arancini. I, I didn't think I would say that. You know, I, I'm a huge calamari fan. But the calamari is just lit, missing some of the batter taste in there. Just a little bit. Arancini wins appetizers contest. Hard to imagine. For our main course tonight, our server had lots of recommendations. The one that really caught my eye, rigatoni con fungi. That's, that's the name of it. Fungi served with mushrooms, fungi. Okay, uh, spicy cherry peppers, garlic, truffle oil. He recommended adding sausage as well. I'm thinking we probably will. It sounds good, kind of like a protein item. Neither David or I are super hungry right now, so I think we have these two appetizers and split an entree and maybe we'll have room for dessert later. Maybe. Here we are with our pasta, rigatoni con fungi with that sausage included. We asked them to split it in half. We didn't realize that they would actually bring us two half portions. When we looked in the menu, all pasta dishes are available in half order portions, which is fantastic. It smells good. It looks good. They put some uh, pepper and cheese on top. Let's try it together. I'm so excited. Rigatoni con fungi. Bon appetit. First bite impressions, not bad. Not bad at all. The pasta is a little bit on the al dente side. I believe like firm, a little bit too firm. 
in my opinion. The taste though, very good. The, the mushroom flavor, that is delicious. Really good delicious flavor. Sausage is good. It's an interesting combo though. I, I need a few more bites. Okay, there was a big difference I just experienced. I had a few pieces on top. Not bad, not bad. Once I started to dig deeper, eat a bit more of the mushroom and the sausage, okay, big, big difference, big difference. This one, it, it went up in my mind. Not the best pasta I've ever had, but in terms of pastas of recent memory, at Walt Disney World, it's a really good one. You gotta get down to the mushroom flavor though. Maybe like mix it up when you first get it. The sausage adds. So the, you know, if they're thinking about adding sausage, I would do it. Wow, okay, just got better. Just got better. David, I gotta know, it's not just me, right? You gotta dig a little deeper. It was very good. I really did enjoy the pasta flavor. Once you dig a little deeper, I feel like at first you're thinking, that's ah, not so flavorful. But once you dig down, agreed, it is much better than originally tasted and reviewed. So it's confirmed, all you gotta do is dig a little deeper and then you find that magical taste inside <laughs> this rigatoni. Very good, I can see myself getting it again. It's one of those dishes where it's like, okay, got to the mushroom flavor, like it a lot, A plus, yes. To end the meal, they gave us this half full cup of something. It, I think it's alcoholic, but it, it kinda smells like Gatorade. I, I don't know, we're gonna find out together. Cheers. Our server told us that this is in fact lemon cello. Uh, it's extremely alcoholic, I tried a small sip. A uh, tiny bit of Gatorade taste to it, but lemon. Lemony taste with alcohol, no doubt about it. So, good way to end the meal right there. Overall, Il Milano, I enjoyed it. I really, really did. Definitely wanna come back and try more things on the menu. Walking out now, you can see the restaurant's amazingly well-themed. A lot of the Italian feels all around. The oils, the wines, the pasta. Really like the theming, overall vibe inside. Food's delicious. We'll be back. It's so humid out here and it's raining just a little bit, but we're by the uh, Swan Fountain right there. Beautiful, we're gonna walk inside, look around the Swan a bit more, and then uh, see what tonight brings. Outside of Il Milano now, and we spoke to our server about kimonos, thinking about sushi. He said this is delicious. So this will 100% be on our radar in the future when it comes to like the best sushi at Disney. Yeah, this, this one's like popping up for me a little bit. By the dolphin again, looking at that barricade. Still closed, still closed. I want my fountain, I want my fountain for dessert. Next time, next time. Rain has stopped and you can see the lighting is just about perfect as we make our walk to the boardwalk. Probably gonna kind of walk around, maybe perhaps get a dessert option, maybe. We're missing Apple Hills and also missing the fountain, so maybe not, we'll see. And then the plan, at least my thought, David, is to go take the Skyliner gondola all the way back to the car. Parked at Hollywood Studios. The Jelly Roll Science has Jelly Rolls Orlando. Does that mean that they have Jelly Rolls in other locations around the United States? I would imagine that means yes. I, I hadn't heard of it personally before Disney. You know, I heard about it about Disney since I was a kid, but it says Orlando, so I'm wondering where else they have them. Looking online, it looks like the one here at Walt Disney World is the only one. So. Maybe it is, maybe not, but that's interesting. Jelly Rolls Orlando, but only here in Orlando. One of the best things about a big rain and thunderstorm here at Walt Disney World is the fact that it kind of clears the air. You can see there's actually a little rainbow appearing right over there, right? Yeah, you can see it right there. Look over here, look at this, look at this sky. Look at that sunset. That, that keeps happening and I love it. It's amazing how like the thunderstorm gets, pushes everything away and then you get this amazing orange blue sky. I could look at that for hours. Um, wow. That's amazing. Crystal clear water, it's just totally still, beautiful sky. I can't get over it. Every time I see it, I can't get over it. There's the white balance, look at that. Reddish, orange, glow, blues above. Incredible, absolutely incredible. We didn't really stop at the boardwalk, we just kind of walked past and so couldn't take our eyes off the sky. Gondolas aren't running right now because it is still lightning in the area, so we're gonna make our way back to Yacht and Beach. Never a bad time for Yacht and Beach. Inside the Beach Club now, looking at some of the uh, merchandise they have, they have a lot of basketball merchandise, which is awesome, but I've never seen these jerseys before. They've got Donald Hot Shot right there and Goofy Hoopers right there, both jerseys. And the other side, actually these mugs here that look like basketballs and have the Disney characters inside. Wow. Came around the other side and I found Minnie's shooting star jersey right there. Now you may know this already, but David is going to be moving away very, very soon. David, you're gonna be missed so, so much in the Orlando area, but it's for a good reason, to help Michelle get situated with some of her things. So I'm, I'm super happy about that, and I'm sure we'll be spending lots of time together again soon. But since you're here, sharing it together, we're enjoying this amazing sunset and darkness here at Disney's Yacht and Beach and Boardwalk. What will you miss most about living in Florida? There are a lot of things to appreciate about the area. Of course, you've got the parks, yep. being able to access the theme parks. I think they call it the theme park capital of the world, <laughs> maybe. So there's all of those activities to enjoy. And that does come with not only the attractions, but also the food. 
and being able to enjoy those resorts and the food that they offer. That's really nice. I also really like the beaches and the weather, being able to sit back and relax in the sun or walk through maybe the trails and see some of the kind of jungle spaces see those beaches and walk around outdoors and see a lot of water activity. I also like the weather and I personally don't mind the humidity. I know a lot of people don't like it so much, but I definitely don't mind. I like to be nice and toasty. You see me wear jeans, works out well here. So the big question, can we look forward to seeing you back in Florida in the relatively near future? Well, you know, there's so much to enjoy. I will most definitely be back to enjoy all of the fun in the future. Okay, gonna be fun. I'm sad, I'm sad you're leaving, but I'm very happy at the same time helping Michelle. I will miss you while you're gone, but we're still gonna have a lot of fun. We'll share it together and thanks to technology, we stay connected. That's one of those things that, I think it's just like, it's so fantastic. We've got FaceTime, we've got texting, we do it with, Mich we do it with Michelle all the time. Cause she, you know, she's not in Florida, but we, we FaceTime her all the time. Just, you know, make sure that uh, we hear about all the life updates. It's so important to hear about, so more FaceTimes. More, Sounds good. More texting. Made it to the gondolas here at the International Gateway at Epcot, and they are not running right now because of the lightning. We're gonna give it a few minutes. Just hang out for a bit. Just uh, sit back and relax, and uh, hopefully they'll be running soon. Sure enough, the Skylander gondolas are down. We asked the uh, cast member up front. They said, you know, the most recent strike was like 2.6 miles away. It used to be six miles away and that was just moments ago. So it'll take at least another 30 or 45 minutes before I start walking. Back at the beach club now and found out from some very kind cast members that since the Skyliner gondola is down, they will be running buses from the beach club to Hollywood Studios. So that's, that's a relief, that's where the car is. Well, we made it to the bus depot and there's no one here and the sign says use Skyliner. I am not sure, <laughs> not sure the information we got was correct. Um, starting to think that it might be a bit of a walk back. It's all right, not the end of the world, not the end of the world. But uh, we'll find our way. It's more of an adventure than we uh, thought we would have, but getting those great nighttime views, I'm, you know me, I'm a positive guy. I take uh, the positive ever, out of everything, even though we have to walk all the way around, it's miles and miles and miles. I feel like uh, still so much to smile about because we're here at the place where dreams come true later at night. Gondolas are speeding along there. <laughs> now we made it back and they're moving, I don't know. They're probably just testing. Looking at the Skyliner Station International Gateway from the bridge, I can tell it's still closed. They're just testing at the moment. We're walking. Now we'll know if walking was a smart call. If we get to Hollywood Studios and the uh, gondola is running and taking guests, we'll know we probably should have taken the gondola. Just walked by Boardwalk Bakery and noticed that they had something that they didn't have a few days ago. They have the Mickey Ear Waffle Sunday Hat Cup. That is something we'll have to come back for another day. Super cool, they're finally back. Now you remember just a few weeks ago, we were here at the boardwalk late at night, and we didn't see anyone around. Times have changed. As you can see, David and I are walking around here, and there's just, there's just a lot more people. There's so many more people here on the boardwalk. I know Epcot just closed, but that's a lot of people. Big River Grill and Brewing Works, a restaurant here on the boardwalk that we've never tried before. I'm looking forward to trying a lot more restaurants in the future. Swan and Dolphin behind us now on that walkway back to Hollywood Studios. Not too long, not too long at all. I would imagine that the Skyline is probably running for testing, but I don't think guests would have a chance to ride at this point because it's been maybe 20 minutes since we saw it. So I would imagine we're gonna beat it, but I'll let you know. Made it back to Hollywood Studios and the gondolas are indeed running here at uh, what looks like full speed, but I don't know if it's part of the test or there are guests in it. Looking at it here, it looks like it is open, but it's hard to know if we would have beaten it or not because we don't know what time it opened. If it opened two minutes ago and they were just running tests before that, we wouldn't have beat our own time right here. So still good, still glad we walked, great walk. Back at Hollywood Studios. Empty parking lot here at Hollywood Studios as we are making our way out. Thanks so much for joining us today. It was so much fun sharing it all with you. Until next time, have a magical day. See you real soon.